Hello, How, how's everyone doing tonight? We want to thank you for tuning into the show. You're watching Prayer, Praise, and Power with me, Pastor Chuck. I want to thank you for watching the show tonight. You could be watching any show in the world, but you chose to watch us, and so we're, we're grateful. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, as always, you know, we, we really try to touch on things that affect everyone. Uh, we talk about uh, things from life to home to world to universe, uh, and we really want to touch on some special issues tonight. Uh, I brought on a very powerful person, uh, a very, very, a very person that, who, who's enlightened, intelligent, and kind and compassionate. Uh, very special guest. Uh, we, we also have some uh, another another topic that I want to uh, address tonight. Um, in the city of Carpinteria, uh, we had a young man who, who lost his life. Um, and we really just want to share with him and the family how much we love and appreciate Brother Hector, uh, Hector Jr., Jr. Uh, so just, uh, just reach out to that family, that city, uh, those that are around them, those that 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 live and work around that restaurant. We just want to just let you know that uh, sometimes there's people that are right next to you that are struggling, and if we don't reach out to them and touch them, uh, then it's on us. So always ask the deep question, how are you doing? And then say, how are you doing? Because sometimes we hide behind the mask of the smile. And so uh, we just, t tonight's show is dedicated to, to Brother uh, Hector Jr. and his family. We just want to thank you. Um, tonight we have a special guest on the show. Um, and, and I've learned that there are some people in life, they, they are iconic. Uh, iconic meaning they don't need a whole lot of hoop and holler. Uh, you have people like, um, we had S Sister Jackie Inda and I call her Inda because uh, the iconic name, one name person, one name. You have people like, 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 like Prince, one name, says it all. Cher, Elton, iconic one name people, Chuck, you know, Churchill. And so tonight I have a one name, iconic name, Hibba, Sister Hibba is our special guest tonight. Sister Hibba, how, how are you doing tonight? Very well, thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you having for coming me. out on the show, thank you. When I met you the first time, um, I, was do, I was working with a, a good friend, um, uh, Worthen, one-on-one, -on -one, and I was doing a show, and I met you that day, and, and your spirit reached out and grabbed my spirit, and then our, we connected, and then I, and I watched, I'm a watcher, and I watched you from a distance, like, but there's, there's so many layers to you. And, and then as I, as I did my research, it's like, wow, okay, she is not. And so when I met you, you were sitting behind a desk. And I thought, eh, she's a secretary. She answers phones. She sends emails. Eh. And then I started digging deeper. And like, oh, no, she's a programmer. She's making sure that your show goes on. She's a, and, uh, and so, Sister Hill, in this time of, 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 of the political chase and up and down in you know crisis around the world I, I want to really break it all down and settle the argument that's been racing around the, 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 the country for years now what is best what's best settle it right now East Coast or West Coast rap <laughs> what, what, what? talk to me definitely West Coast, West Coast. <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> What kind of music do you like? What kind of music do you like? Well, I love all, all kinds music. of music, mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. classical music wow. to soft rock mm. to rap mm. and wow. jazz. Wow. And I think every occasion calls for specific music, wow. for special music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I heard a writer once say that if, if, if music if, if music is a language, then play on. Yes. And play on. Because if it. we speak through that. And so I love, I love opening the show with that dialogue because that, that, that brings us all down to, you know, a, 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 a commonality. Sister Hibba, you know, I, I, you're a lady of power. You're a lady of success. Thank and you. in tonight's show, we're, we're dealing with uh, uh, life lessons of success 
from from the war. So I'm I'm a, I'm a good old boy, born and raised in in L.A., California. Spent some time in New Orleans, New Orleans. Came back to to Cali, um, and I've been to the Middle East. I've been to Uganda. I've been to Tel Aviv. I've been to the Jordan. I've I've I've, I've been to Jerusalem. Um, but where, where where are you from? Uh, I was born in Lebanon. Mm -hmm. uh, Lebanon? Mount Lebanon, mm -hmm. the country. Mm -hmm. uh, Mount Lebanon in mm -hmm. particular, which is in the middle, uh, mm -hmm. kind of Lebanon, is, uh, north of Israel, uh, west of Syria. Mm -hmm. It's, um, I call it the best part of the Mediterranean. Wow. It's the okay. bottom uh, part of the U. Yes. The Mediterranean yes. is like a U, yes. so mm -hmm. it's... Uh, yeah, I was doing part. my math. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. So I know that's that. Yeah. yeah. yeah so. So I, I swam there once, and this was 1999. I know it sounds like a Prince song, but it was 1999. Me and my mom, well, sh she had retired, and she wanted to go there. And, and so I, I was able to go on, on a, uh, um, a, a trip with her. And I swam in the Mediterranean, and I'm a, I'm a swimmer, so I swim. But I swam in the, in the Mediterranean, and it was like still. And the water was like, I don't know, 84, 85 degrees, like seven in the morning. And I was like, and it was still, and I, was, and I just did my, I went like for like a quarter mile each way back and forth. That's like the best swim I ever got was in the Mediterranean. So I, I love that part of the world. If I ever retire and go, go home, it will be there. Yes. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's like, yeah. It's yeah. beautiful, beautiful, warm. Country. Uh, and uh, the weather is like California. Ah, uh, you have yes. no rain during the summer, but it's a shorter summer, mm -hmm. and there are four seasons, wow. separate season, wow. winter, spring, wow. autumn, wow. and the summer. Um, I, I can't thank you so much for being on the show and accepting the, the, the invitation. And, and I think if I hadn't invited you, you would have probably just came on in one day <laughs> or the other, because I think that's the kind of person you are. You're, just, you're a powerful person. And to meet you, you don't, I don't really see, you know, I don't really see that. But once I got to know you, I was like, oh, this lady has power, power, power. Um, so you're, you're, not, you're, you're not just an employee of the station. We're at TVSB uh, in the beautiful city, of, uh, beautiful city of Santa Barbara, TV Santa Barbara. Um, and such. What do you do for the station? I program the shows, mm -hmm. uh, put them on TV, our two channels. Even mine. Yes, of course. <laughs> um, we have channels 17 and 71 mm -hmm. on Cox Cable. Mm -hmm. um, I put the, the programs there and I coordinate with the producers, the mm -hmm. directors. And uh, in fact, I started as a volunteer at the station, mm -hmm. used to help with the shows. Uh, use the camera. Uh, I even learned to be a floor director on wow. some of the shows. And all this is brand new to me. Mm -hmm. um, I was in telecommunication for okay. all my career, mm -hmm. which was about 25 okay. years mm -hmm. in technical um, projects, technical mm -hmm. management mm -hmm. in the telecommunications industry. Mm -hmm. So media was new to me, but I love it. I love the camera. Mm -hmm. And then doing uh, the programming of the shows is also fun. Mm -hmm. um, can put what's in schedule and then you pick and choose in between the programs. Mm -hmm. you, you just recently put um, an article up and it, it talked about you being a pioneer in the industry in your homeland. Share with us a little, a little about that. Uh, yes, I was uh, the first uh, female engineer to work in the field mm -hmm. and fix computers and equipment mm -hmm. at the airport mm -hmm. uh, of Beirut, the mm -hmm. Lebanese airport. Wow. Uh, I did an internship with Middle East Airlines, mm -hmm. which is the official airlines mm -hmm. uh, for Lebanon. Mm -hmm. And uh, then uh, when I wanted to get a job, I applied and mm -hmm. got it and started there mm -hmm. before I moved to North America. Wow. Wow. And um, at the beginning, I didn't do this. I, I thought I wanted to go to Europe or the U.S. and then continue my Ph.D. because I had um, a bachelor degree in electrical engineering. Wow. 
and we were few uh, ladies, few wow. females <laughs> yeah, right. at uh, Lebanese University. Mm -hmm. But uh, for uh, the airport uh, there, it was brand new to see a girl. Yeah. I was in my 20s, <laughs> young engineer. You still engineer. are, you still are, girl. You still are. You still Just are. Uh, fixing equipment yeah. or antennas mm -hmm. or things like that. Mm -hmm. Uh, so uh, a magazine uh, there, in fact it was the most popular at the time, it's called Hasna, uh, Hasna, uh -huh. which in Lebanese means the beautiful. Uh, <laughs> oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, they did a special mm -hmm. um, interview, special report mm -hmm. uh, on me being first female engineer wow. to work in the field. Wow. Okay, so you know, here, 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 here in, in this country, we've, we've been we've been battling, we and 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 I'm and I'm I'm probably the most male chauvinistic guy that you ever wanted to see. I'm just because I was I was always taught, you know, you know, open a door for a lady, be respectful. To, so you grew up in a different area, different part of the world, being a pioneer as a female. Um, long before there was a Me Too, there was just me, I mean you, you're just Hibba. Um, that must have been tough. That, a bunch of, I'm, so I'm thinking a bunch of guys in hard hats, in belts, and they're out there doing their, and then you walk up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I didn't show muscles or anything. Right, right. Uh, no, at the contrary, um, they were um, accepting, they were, mm -hmm. they understood, mm -hmm. uh, and at a certain stage, uh, sometimes with men together, y you know, they share some stories or some words, you know, just <laughs> <laughs> bad words. Yeah. And then I said, okay, I have to find a solution for this. So mm -hmm. I spoke with them, I said, okay, when I'm here, in the office yeah. or doing the work inside. Wow. Consider it like a break for you. Like <laughs> <laughs> a timeout. We're on timeout. Yeah. Yeah. Time so out, yeah. So why don't you wow. stop those, wow. you know, kind of discussion or whatever words yeah. <laughs> uh, you're saying yeah. and just we can take be a jerks. break and yeah. uh, then when yeah. I'm out in the field you can talk whatever wow. you'd like. And they accept it. We laughed about it and it was a great team. Yeah. I, I loved working with that's them. Great. And that's the power I get from you. Um, when, when I met you, I, I, I experienced power, power. And I don't, know if, I don't know if you get that when I say that, but there are certain people that will, will come into your life and when you, when you get in their presence, you can just feel it. You can just, like, there's something that takes over. And with our first conversation, when I first met you, you said, you looked at me, you smiled, and you said, I like your cross. <laughs> and that, like, it like it it, it 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 humbled me. It shut me down. Where everything was equal, and here this is not. This is a person who admires something from me, and I admired something from you, and that had nothing to do with male, female, or height. You know, tall. I'm tall. I'm tall. I'm a tall guy, and you're. You know, so it 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 it, it even the plane, and then when you said that, I'm like, oh like this here it's yours because I don't see you I see my sister and when I first met you I just saw my sister and so I have to say to America and I, I want sister here thank you for being my sister because when I saw that I was like and I, I don't have I don't have a you know my mom gave birth to two to two to two men me and my brother and so I never grew up with sisters um, and so the importance of the relationship between a, a, a brother, big brother, younger brother, and a sister is a very vital relationship. Um, I think that's where we learn, we learn um, how to coexist as male-female from the brother-sister relationship. And when I met you, that's what I got. I got, oh, that's the sister that I never had. And, and I will give you the shirt off my back, the pin off my lapel, you know, and so that's what I get from you. Uh, I'm blessed. <laughs> I'm blessed to have you as my brother. Wow. And um, the feeling is, is mutual. Mm -hmm. um, and I uh, wanted to mention about the power you felt. Mm. 
this didn't come from the fact that I became an engineer or I worked with men or was fixing computers mm -hmm. and equipment in the field. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe uh, this came to me uh, from working with people, helping people. Mm -hmm. And the best blessing ever was uh, to help people live, mm. to to heal them during the war, mm. because I was always active mm -hmm. and helped with the Red Cross, mm -hmm. helped with hospitals, mm -hmm. and just helping someone mm -hmm. survive mm -hmm. their wounds mm -hmm. and their pain, mm -hmm. I think that's the most powerful of all. Okay, so l l let me back up because you you mentioned something, and I don't I don't think a lot of us know, but you mentioned helping people um, during the war. Yes. Okay, and so here, in beautiful Santa Barbara, we don't know nothing about no war. We don't know nothing about you. And, and excuse my broken English, but we don't know nothing about no war because we're, it's beautiful Santa Barbara. Thank God. Right. Thank so God. we we we've, we've never dealt with that. Yes. So here you are teenager dealing with sh share with me a little bit how was that for a kid i mean yes. as a kid as a, as a as a as a female kid 15 16 years old yeah in fact when i got my first uh, medical training mm -hmm. uh, with the red cross mm -hmm. uh, i was 13 Mm, and wow. it was just in case something happens and uh, mm. uh, there was a small clinic in our little town and mm. just to help people. Uh, and then uh, I was hoping to get um, to medical schools. Mm. Now in Lebanon it's very, very expensive mm. to go to these schools. Mm -hmm. uh, it was, in fact, mm -hmm. at the time. Now they told me that the Lebanese University, which is a public university, they have a branch uh, for medicine. Uh, at that time I was hoping to get a scholarship or something, go out outside to mm -hmm. Europe, uh, but it didn't work out. Yeah. Yeah. And. Um, we had a financial situation. My mm. parents yeah. weren't able uh, yeah. to help. Yeah. Uh, at the contrary, Most I parents, was yeah. looking for ways mm. to help them. Mm. And my dad then passed away, so mm. I wanted to help my mom. Uh, so I started tutoring, but then I said, okay, let me, since I wanted to be a doctor someday, hopefully this will happen, mm -hmm. let me meanwhile get trained to do more of the medical related work. Ah. And I uh, went for a training mm -hmm. and kind of internship at one of the hospitals in oh. the area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, they trained me in the uh, emergency room mm -hmm. and then I said, why not operating room? I said, okay, but it's limited, whatever, and then they approved mm -hmm. me because they saw I. I did good mm -hmm. in the emergency room. Mm -hmm. And uh, I uh, started to study mm -hmm. the names of all the medical equipment, you know, the scalp scalpel and oh, all that they use yeah. in wow. surgeries. The technical I stuff. studied them. I gotcha. asked, I studied, and as if uh -huh. I'm going to medical school. Oh. And uh, at a certain stage, uh, there wasn't enough staff. It was the war, remember? Right, and right. Uh, there was uh, a, a surgery, eye surgery for a cataract, mm -hmm. which is not an emergency, cataract. but cataract. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. and the doctor wanted to do it, go ahead with it. Mm -hmm. And um, they had to have me help with that surgery. I was mm -hmm. the only one with another nurse. Wow. Uh, <laughs> so wow. they saw what I gave. I had no certification, nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm of uh, right. nursing yeah, certification. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh, so they let me help, mm -hmm. I did good, mm -hmm. and they let me help with another surgery, mm -hmm. another one, another, mm -hmm. until later I had to go back right. uh, to school, go back to college. Mm -hmm. uh, but w what I learned here uh, was like, if you can't make it happen, if you can't change what's, what's going on, make the best of it. Mm. I wasn't able mm. to get money mm -hmm. to 
go to medical school, uh, to travel outside. My parents couldn't help. Um, and that scholarship didn't go through. And they said I was too young because wow. I graduated. Well, I finished yeah. high school, was ready for college at 16 years well, old. Yeah. Wow. Um, and some, you know, someone following up dropped it. So I said, let me make the best of it. Mm -hmm. I did. Mm -hmm. And guess what? That experience oh. helped me later on survive some fightings and help my family wow. survive not being killed. And what happened is that two years ahead, mm -hmm. two years, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. down the road, mm -hmm. um, I had started college then and mm -hmm. was going back from Beirut to our little town to study for the mm -hmm. exams. Mm -hmm. And uh, all of a sudden the fightings escalated mm -hmm. and spread to yeah. our area. Yeah. Yeah. And my friends who knew me at the hospital, they came to our house mm -hmm. <coughs> at five in the morning and wow. took me wow. to a field hospital to help. Wow. At first I hesitated, well, I'm studying for the exams, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I left my uh, uh, books at home and everything there. And <coughs> that day I left mm -hmm. and never came back to our house except eight months later. Wow. So the fightings really escalated. Wow. But uh, my family left and wanted to take me with them to leave the area. Mm -hmm. And then with that, mm -hmm. they avoided the fire that got into our house. Our house was completely destroyed. Completely destroyed. When we went back eight months later, okay. the walls were eaten. The walls it's were charred. Yes, yeah. we we lost everything. everything. Yeah. yeah, except you know, yeah. few items, and uh, that was yeah. the second lesson I I learned, <laughs> which is yeah. you have some master you have some master <laughs> lessons here. So yeah, so yeah, we we're, we're just we're just touching on the first one. Uh, the first lesson we talked about was. If, if you can't change it, and because and, and I'm, I'm a person, you know, if I see something, I'm going to try to fix it. If you can't change it, you know, don't fight it, you know. And so just every, every time I listen to you, but, but make the best of it. And so when I, when I sit here and I sit with Sister Hibba about making the best out of a, 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 a war Coming, imagine, imagine Santa Barbara, Amanda, you come home today and, and your house is like in rubble. What do you do? You make the best of it. And so that's why we're here today. We're, we're, we're talking with Sister Hibba, iconic Sister Hibba, and we're making the best of it. You, so you have so much, keep going. I, I don't even want to stop. I, I, you know, I want to, because it's, it's the Pastor Chuck show, Prayer, Praise, and Power, but it's not about me today. It, you know, it, it it blows my mind when I when I really when I when I look deeper and I just I did a lot of research. So when I when I look deeper into you, I was like, wow, this lady is not just an, an anointed, but she's appointed to be here. And so, oh man, just so so keep going. I don't mean, I mean to interrupt. It's a <laughs> commercial timeout. Back back to you. Thank you. So the next lesson I learned, Pastor Shock, mm -hmm. was um, when. You help others, you'll be helping yourself. So help yourself wow. by helping others. And it yeah. could be, in my case, yeah. save yourself by saving others. Wow. I was in that field hospital, wow. I saved lives. Wow. Within five days, I didn't sleep except three hours. In five days. And that helped me survive and with my family following me, my mom and brother and his uh, little children and his wife, uh, it saved them. So it could be help yourself by helping others, it could be save yourself, it could be lift yourself by lifting others. And this is not only applicable to a war situation, and I believe yeah. every one of us live their own wars. Wow. It, 
doesn't have to be with You're gonna make me cry here bullets. on the show. Don't make me cry on the show, okay? Don't make me cry. But that's very that's powerful because yes, we do. Loss yeah. of loved yeah. ones. Yeah. yeah. It could be sickness. It could be addiction. That's a war. For those who are battling that, there are people that, that are battling those addictions. You, you know, it could be whatever, whatever the substance that they're, so yeah. yeah wow. We're exper you're Ooh. experiencing loss yes. and you go out there yeah. and volunteer, let's say, at a hospice yeah. Yeah. Um, or Ooh. help yeah. others yes. Yes. survive. You forget about your sorrow. Right. You, do. You, you do. forget you do. about your you tough times. One of the biggest blessings I, I think I've, I've ever received in life uh, is, is when I think, this is just st stupid Chuck, when I think I'm going to the hospital to either pray or minister to someone and, 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 and they end up ministering to me. Uh, I, I, I remember uh, my, my previous boss, um, Chief Cam Sanchez, uh, and my son was battling cancer. And so Chief Cam, he goes, he leaves Santa Barbara, drives to Los Angeles to drop off some books and some reading material to my son who's battling cancer. And Cam says, hey, I'm getting ready to leave now. Let me pray for you. And my son, JR, says, no, 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 chief. I, I, let me pray for you because I think your job is tougher than mine. And then he, he came back like, like he was blown away because he, he, he went there to pray for someone who's dying from cancer. And yet, here's a person dying for cancer is praying for him. <laughs> I'm choked up because that's 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 called service. You know, we never serve ourselves. In life, we serve we serve community, we serve others, and in doing that, oh, that's when you, we reap the blessings of what true service is. And so, Sister Hibba, I, I, I I'm 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 sitting here trying to imagine you at a teenage kid. That's what you were, just a teenager, 16. you know? And yeah, I think about 18. all the kids at, 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 at Dos Pueblos and Santa Barbara High, and if I, if I forget the name, the name your, your high school, uh, West Covina High, okay, I'm just getting out of the district, um, and all the other high schools, Washington High in L.A., Washington Prep, with the, 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 the home of the generals. Um, I think about all these young high school kids that they just want to go to the high school dance. And here you are, at that same age, and, and you're in, you're in an, in, a, in, an, in an operating room. You're you're dealing with 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 death and life and bombs and war. Yet here in this country, we have we have no idea. But um, believe me, if. It wasn't for the killing and the bad things that happened during war. Uh, I wouldn't change that experience I know. because it yeah. made me who I am. Yes. It gave me depth. Yes. It gave yeah. me a better understanding yes. of yeah. what's the most important in well, life. Yeah. Yeah. And that's relationships. Yeah. That's people. That's the love we have with, for yeah. each other. Nothing. I mean, pr Belongings is just comes materials. And comes and goes. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. yes. And uh, these lessons I was able to apply later. I was mm -hmm. just tell myself. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, when we moved to Santa Mar Barbara, mm -hmm. um, we were not planning. Here? How long have you three been years. Three years. Three years, three years now. Okay. And we lived in Redondo Beach uh, before oh, that for okay. 13 years. Wow, okay, okay. Uh, yes. Uh, I, I grew just, up in the South Bay area, so that's oh, crazy. You know, you know, yes, yes, yeah. I love it. I love it. But we love here more. Yeah, yeah. And I fell in love with, uh, with Santa Barbara mm -hmm. since I first saw it in the year 2000. Okay. By then, we had recently married, my husband and I, oh, mercy. and he started his new job, which mm -hmm. was um, in the LA area. He okay. used to go to customer locations locally okay. or in other states. And Cottage Hospital was one of his customers. Okay. So okay. I had a full-time job in LA then, okay. but um, over the weekend when they do computer upgrades, oh. uh, he's 
and a computer. He's an right. engineer too. Uh, I would come with him, spend the weekend, oh, and tour the city. Okay. Wow. Uh, while he was working hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, as you should, as you should. So let me, let me stop you right there. Let me ask you the question because, because uh, so, uh, and, and, and if I get too personal, just tell me to back off. So you're a married woman? Yes. How long? 18 years, it was in August, so t the year 2000. Who made the move on, did, did he make the move on you or did you make the move on him? <laughs> well, that's another <laughs> that story. Another, part two, part two, and then we'll see you on part two. <laughs> because we've known each other forever. Wow. We were uh, best friends wow. in college. Okay. And you, him gotcha. there, he gotcha. moved first to Canada and mm -hmm. then I moved after wow. to North America. But I moved to the U.S. Yeah. first. Gotcha. It was a transfer from Montreal. Okay. Uh, okay with my job gotcha. and then within a year we felt yeah we need to yeah. be together yeah. so yeah. i said okay i may go back he said i'll look for a job here wow. and then he That's moved so, so we special. kind of it was mutual yeah. i would That's say special. Yes. That's so, special. <laughs> so you know this is this we, you know we talk about prayer praise and power but at the end of the day it's really about love this is a love show so <laughs> <laughs> yes so um i've loved mm -hmm. santa barbara mm -hmm since 2000 and yeah. somehow we spoke sometimes my husband and I that okay probably when we retire 200 years from now mm -hmm. <laughs> we may come to Santa Barbara yeah. and live here it, it's um, it's just it's a slow so pace uh, first mm -hmm. and second a bit expensive yeah. more expensive right. than Redondo right. Beach as you know right. Uh, I work three. I work three jobs. It's just right. <laughs> yes. And 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 and, 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 and I, let me let me back up before I say I work three jobs. Uh, I'm employed by three people. I don't really work. What I do is a hobby, and they pay me <laughs> very well. That's the for best. For my hobby, so yes. I'm, I'm blessed. Yes. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> yeah. So um, uh, three years ago, mm -hmm. my husband got. Um, uh, laid off mm -hmm. from uh, his job mm -hmm. after 15 years uh, mm -hmm. for working for that company, which was purchased by another company mm -hmm. based in Chicago. Mm -hmm. So it's the acquisition, you yeah, know, that's yeah, yeah, normal yeah. in the U.S. Mm -hmm. uh, but it, it was a big shock for him. Right. Yeah. First time. Hard working guy. He wants to work. Yes, yeah, and yeah. they told him, oh no, we'll try to find you something. and. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was really, really a tough time for him mm -hmm. and for me feeling uh, oh, for him. Yeah. Uh, and here we go back to lesson number one. Mm -hmm. If you can't change it, don't fight it. Make the best of it. And somehow yeah. it occurred uh, to us mm -hmm. that, okay, we discussed it and said, okay, why don't you apply to Cottage? Because they oh. were kind enough to, when he was laid off, he they sent there, yeah. a letter to the chairman, mm -hmm. uh, to the founder company, of, yeah. of that company, mm -hmm. complaining, how could, could they? Because the they've stuff. known him for, remember, I came here yeah. since yeah. the year 2000. Mm -hmm. They've known him for 15 years and knew how dedicated he, mm -hmm. he had been. Mm -hmm. So within a month, mm -hmm. they offered him a job. Yeah. And instead of waiting until later, yeah. our retirement moved to this beautiful city. Mm -hmm. Doors open. We did. The doors, doors open. opened doors, yeah, and came amazing. here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was in between jobs, or I wanted mm -hmm. to work something mm -hmm. in a you know less mm -hmm. uh, kind of stressful kind mm -hmm. of a job. Mm -hmm. uh, Is this stressful working here for the uh, TBSB? No, it's no, not stressful. Because these guys are like, so they're kind of <laughs> crazy. Like, this is like crazy working here. They're not stressful. They're good no, people. No, no. Okay, it's I'm just so checking. Fun. I'm just checking. So much okay. fun. <laughs> uh, and uh, at that time, you know, I was uh, doing some consulting work on my own. Uh -huh. So I was flexible to move with him to gotcha. something. I didn't have to quit a job mm -hmm. or. Uh, it's it was just selling our house, but again, yeah. these are uh, it's stressful. Yeah. But, but this is, is just you know, it isn't that essential in life. So moved here, and tried to get to know the community, and then go Beautiful. to lesson number two: yeah. help yourself by helping others. Because at a certain stage, yeah. I became stressed out. I missed my friends. Mm. 
in yeah. LA, have yeah. so many friends there, yeah. uh, many hundreds, I would say. <laughs> I was involved uh, yeah. in many activities. Yeah. Um, and I said, okay, let me help at the station. Let me volunteer. Mm -hmm. And by helping here, that open doors. Open doors. Wow. And wow. I was hired. Yeah. Wow. Um, so th this place has been, it, 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 you know, just hanging out here. Every time I walk in here, somebody always touches me because I, some, you know, in my in my in my in my daily life, you know, I'm I'm a high stress guy. I don't know why. I'm just that way. But when I walk in these doors, it's like my stress level drops. Even though I know I've got, you know, I got, I got crazy guys behind the camera and, and, and brother Mike, he's like, you gotta do this, you gotta do this, and I got Eric and then, you know. But when I come in here, it's like, oh. It's, and so this building yes. is a stress reliever. Even, even, even my parking spot. So I park next door <laughs> in Pastor Stretchberry's parking spot. So thank you, Pastor Stretch. I back my big old truck in there, and like I haven't hit a pole yet. But this block uh, is, is 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 a very peaceful area. When we first moved into town, uh, two thousand six or seven, we actually lived up Salinas, um, yeah, uh, up up Lou Dillon. Yeah. Up, up Lou Dillon, wow. at, uh, like, Very like close. Uh, right, a, a few blocks <laughs> away, and I, I would walk by this stuff going, this station, going to get a sandwich from the little, little market. But I didn't really know what was going on here, but it, it, I would hook this corner, and I would always feel there's peace going on here, yeah. not knowing, because I was in another world. Um, and so a, a, as, as we lived there for, I don't know, two or three years, just right up the hill, like 200 yards up, this, up the hill here, um, uh, and, and we were we were we were even here when when we had the tea fire, oh, right? And we had to evacuate, right? Yeah, yeah so, we, we were in right, right. So it was like, wow. and I remember yeah. I remember being here and going past the station and this something about hooking this corner and this being a, a very safe, calming. I, I, I maybe I'm just goofy, but I just felt that here. And and so, you know, ten years later. When I get involved in the station, and like, oh, and I get to meet the people that are here, and I'm like, oh, now, I've, now I'm starting to experience it and feel it and know firsthand. Now I can say that this corner is an anointed corner. There's something special that happens, <laughs> and you are part of that special thing that happened. Something Thank else you. I found out when I read your, your, your and, 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 and I've always been this way uh, about, when, when, when negative things happen, you know, I mean, just the wor you name it, the worst scenario, the worst, you, you know, it, like they say, the, the stuff hits the fan. And so when it, when it does that, okay, so maybe the stuff needed to be fertilized. <laughs> I don't know, you name it. But one of your, your third point was finding the positive in every negative. I've always operated like that. And then so when you put that there, that like, it's like, wow, that's the connection. It's like, oh, that brought, that really told me everything I needed to know that I, all, that I already knew about you is, is your, um, your optimism, you know? And I, I, when I got involved with the police department, so, and it, it, wasn't, a, it wasn't a good involvement, but I'm, I'm this kind of guy. If, if your car breaks down on the side of the road, your car breaks down, you don't, you don't, slash the tires, break out the windows, and scratch the paint, you normally open the hood, try to fix it, and then drive it off. And so when I think about the, 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 the negative stuff that happens in life, okay, so you don't bash life, but you kind of open it up, look a little deeper. Sometimes it's me, is it me? Is it the other guy? Is it surroundings? Is, is, it, is it timing? Is it, but what can I do to fix it? You know, how can I make it better? How can I fix it? How can I help others? And then I have to always look for the positive in it. And so when I met you, you know, I didn't know that you were so deep. I thought you were just, like I say, I thought you were just the lady behind the desk. And then once I got to know you, I'm like, wow, this lady has so much power. And I just, you're, you have, there are certain people that you meet in life that inspire you to greatness. And so I want you to know that. So I know, right? So you, so you, you are an, an iconic person that has that has inspired me to greatness. I would, I would have, I would have walked out the door and kept going if it hadn't been for you 
in our conversation in just a few brief, calm words that made me think, because uh, I was excited. I was like, uh, not, I mean, not use the word excited. I was, I was petrified being on TV. And you just calmed my spirit, like, oh, you can actually do this. And, and here I am today, a year, this is our year, we've been, we've been doing this show for a year. We've been doing prayer, praise, and power for a year. And so, so, proud. so, so you are, you know, you are the, an, this is the anniversary show with Sister Hibba, you know, wow. the iconic show. Um, and so now I got to go back and do a year in recap, and then it'll be starting off with Sister, Sister Hibba. So I'm just so grateful. Um, so um, the, t t t talk to me about, 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 about turning the, positive. the negative, negative into positive, switching those cables. Because if you put them together, you can short some stuff out. You're like, yes. but you have. Uh, the closest one to today would be what happened with my husband, mm -hmm. that he was laid off. Mm -hmm. But that was a blessing in disguise mm -hmm. because he had tough time with that job. And he used to travel sometimes twice a week. So it wasn't a life. Uh, it, it was very high pace. Mm -hmm. And then he was hired we moved to Santa Barbara mm -hmm. uh, so the negative the layoff turned to be mm -hmm. a blessing by us moving to a beautiful city that we love we love living here we love the community mm -hmm. uh, that would be the closest example I would have in mind but going back to the war mm -hmm. the boldest <laughs> Example, bold, bold, the boldest oh. example I would think of. It would be when my uh, family left to join me at that field hospital, remember uh, I told you? But do you know why they left? I mean, there was bombing and everything, mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. There was a bomb that got into the kitchen. Thank God it did do some damage but it didn't explode and didn't affect any nobody was touched but they got scared more scared oh we can no longer live here no kitchen nothing so let's go get Hiba and go um, it was to go to my sister's uh, place my sister is married and lives in another small town and it was safe uh, at that time uh, so when I thought about it years later, it was a bomb that saved my family's life. It's a pure negative that we got a positive. If they had stayed, <laughs> yeah. That's a shouting moment, right? That's it like, is. yeah, wow. It is. Yeah. It is. If they had stayed, mm -hmm. Uh, they would have killed, unfortunately, by uh, those fightings. Uh, my grandma was shot at her door. Mm -hmm. She refused to leave, mm -hmm. and my uncle stayed with her. Mm -hmm. It wasn't on purpose, but you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. they were That's just yeah, yeah, yeah. Weapon, yeah. fighting, whatever, yeah. and bombs, etc. Mm -hmm. And probably saw something moving, and they shot it. It was my grandma at her door. Uh, so thanks to that bomb mm -hmm. <laughs> that wow. got my wow. family yeah. out of our house mm -hmm. uh, to go, they tried to take me with them. I said, I can't leave. Yeah. Wow. And I knew the fighters were coming yeah. closer. Coming, yeah. They stopped yeah. at just one mile away. Wow. We were about to be killed in that field hospital. But thank God it didn't happen. But at least my families got saved. So that's negative how negative positive. can yes, sometimes yes, wow. be a positive wow. that you don't see immediately. Yeah, yeah. Right. That, yeah. yeah. In the midst of it, you just see, oh, I'm dealing with this terrible thing. But how that builds, it's like lifting weights. No one likes to lift weights. No yeah. one likes to work out. I, yes. I, I, I work at a, at, a, at a fitness area. Nobody likes to work out, but oh, when they put on their evening gown, you know, that afternoon, they're like, oh, hey, it fits, you know, or I look good, or my tuxedo fits well, right? So I think that is, that is the thing that I think that we really need to focus on, and, 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 and not, just, not just me, 
because uh, because I, I can be kind of gloomy sometimes. Like, Whoa, it's me. Just feel sorry for me. But when you really look at at life, man, it's like really really take the time to enjoy the sweetness of life. There's so much. There's so many sweet things in life that we if we would just oh taste the the the, the word says oh taste and see how good the Lord is. And I think if we just really take the time to, to really sit and, and taste the sweetness of life. Uh, Sister Hibba, um, you, you've been working here at the station. You, 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 help, you help. So you, you actually, you, you selected the times and dates that, are, that, are, that this show airs. We air, in, in, and I hope I'm going to try to get it right. Uh, we air on Sundays at, um, at 6 p.m., uh, Tuesdays at 1 a.m. for you night owls, and then for you, you just guys like me who just uh, you got nothing to do for lunch, uh, Thursdays at noon. Uh, and so you kind of help. What, what, how do you juggle the, the, all that? How do you juggle? How do you, how do you make everybody's programs fit? Is that? Um, try to be fair mm -hmm. for everyone. I want to be on every you know, day. Yeah, I, <laughs> I would love that. <laughs> And uh, I inherited mm -hmm. the schedule. Mm -hmm. So there were ongoing shows that mm -hmm. they, they have their own spots. For mm -hmm. example, more than one on one with mm -hmm. Jim. I Jim want Morgan. his show. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so um, uh, especially because your show is one full hour. Mm -hmm. uh, so Channel 17 uh, became you know, less and less a crowd, less unavailable and more crowded with show, which is great yeah, which is for good. our yeah, yeah. station. It's a good thing. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I still play your show as a filler whenever we have like one hour available oh, on one you. of the two channels. You're so kind. <laughs> uh, channel 17 is accessible by almost everyone. Mm. So you can have just the basic cable and you get 17. 71 you have to have you know the, the next step with Cox Cable okay, to gotcha. sign up especially okay. for their service. Okay. Uh, that's why we would love to have the, the shows mm -hmm. on 17 especially the ones that concern our community directly. Wow. And uh, try to be fair, pick a spot in the evening, it's a prime time, mm. middle of the day for those who would yeah. like lunch yeah. time. Yeah. And uh, yeah, they, there are people who'd like to watch. They may have a long, um, you know, job that goes back to mm. uh, to 11 a, uh, mm. p.m. in the evening, mm. and they like to watch late shows. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. 1 a.m. for I do, and those. I've watched it all. Right? I've been. Yeah. I, I find myself. You know, <laughs> I'm like, hey, so. I, I have, a, I have a crazy schedule, and sometimes I find myself catching my own show <laughs> at all those times during the week. It's like, hey, so it's amazing. So um, what advice could you give out there to another guy who's like me, who's thinking, because I never thought I would be on TV. I never, <laughs> never in a billion years thought I would be, in, not, not even on TV, maybe in America's Most Wanted, um, <laughs> but to actually be, be the host of a show and bring on great people what would what sister Hibble, what would you tell you know average Joe Blow American or whatever wherever they're from uh, Earthling about about hosting or being on on TV well, I, I encourage them to be on on the show yes yeah. um, every one of us is unique mm. and has mm. his or her unique stories mm -hmm. even if they seem similar to mm -hmm. other people's stories. Mm -hmm. Um, and we have our different styles and there is always an audience for your style no, and your message yeah. no matter what this message is wow. if it helps the community mm -hmm. of course you know we we don't broadcast uh, mm -hmm. things that are prohibited by rules and regulations yeah. so in I can't the get US. Too crazy. It's the I media can't do regulations, yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, we are public mm -hmm. access. So if I you start using curse words, they, will they beat <laughs> me out? Beep, 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 beep. Uh, I don't, but if I, yeah. Yes. So <laughs> This is great. Yeah. This is great. You can be here. You can learn. We help you. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a great team we have Tell here. Me, so we, we've been, uh, not we, but the station has been doing a, a, a training program on Saturdays. And, and I know, uh, I'm, don't let me blow her name, I want to say Sister Lisa, but there, there's Courtney? been... Courtney? 
Courtney? Courtney, yeah. yeah Coordinating yeah, the yeah. training. There's been, so you do training on week, weekends to help people learn how to, how to do this. Talk yes, to if they would like to do their own show, mm -hmm. handle the cameras mm -hmm. and everything, which becomes less expensive. Mm -hmm. And by the way, we are no way near the big station, and uh, you know, like CN, ABC yeah, uh, yeah, or yeah, others yeah, in yeah, Los Angeles. Yeah. But they watch us. It's really yeah. less, less expensive. Mm -hmm. But if you learn to do your own show, mm -hmm. it becomes even less expensive. Mm -hmm. And if you choose to do just a video at home with someone to help you with the camera on your own, mm -hmm. it's the least expensive. You send us these videos and we put them on TV. Wow special so if you guys are out there watching and you have a an idea or you've been you know you've been something's been on your heart this is the perfect diving board the springboard to catapult uh, your 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 idea uh, because once again I'm just Chuck and I never thought that I would be a, a TV host and I never thought that I would be able to get the caliber of people to come on here I am with one, one of the most powerful women in the world Sister Hibba, who is here on our show today, uh, to let you know that, that there's no obstacles, there's no barriers that you that you can't conquer, um, especially as a, as a as a as a woman, as a female, as a as a teenage young girl in the midst of wartime. If she can step up and do it, then surely all of my sisters out there watching this program today, um, you can go over the Me Too and plus me and say, no, forget that, it's, it's about me, and you want to do your show, it can be whatever. This is the perfect access for you to do that. TVSB in the beautiful city of Santa Barbara uh, on Salinas, 329 Salinas. Perfect avenue for you to come in and, and, and put your programming, put your message out. Um, and, and so I'm just excited just to be a part of the program, just to be a part of this, this opportunity. Uh, Sister Hibba, um, we, we've got another five, eight, ten minutes. Um, if, if, if there's a young girl watching this show tonight uh, and you want to express something to her, what would you say to her right now? Um, check <coughs> inside, mm -hmm. deep inside, what you really love to do. Mm -hmm. If you have the opportunity to go for it, study it, and do it, then you, as you said before, is just doing a hobby that you're paid for. And that would be the best work ever for you. If that work help others, mm -hmm. then that even would be more rewarding. It mm -hmm. would be a blessing because you feel it. Mm -hmm. You lift others and you feel yourself lifted mm -hmm. more and more. Um, and it's just believe that there is a solution for any, any problem. Mm -hmm. Somehow we get that solution even years down the road. Mm -hmm. uh, so trust what you love and I say uh, go with your heart, follow your heart, double check with your brains, <laughs> just in I like case. That. I like that. Uh, but go for it mm -hmm. and don't believe for any second that you can't. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. um, that's what I would say. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's powerful. But I, you need to work hard, you need to study. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it's not, nothing comes with shortcuts. Uh skipping corners, no shortcuts. Yes. no shortcuts, Okay. yes, Thank you. but you would be loving it mm -hmm. and you would feel how you're go growing mm -hmm. with every uh, new challenge mm -hmm. that you're facing and you, you are overcoming. Wow, that's powerful. I, just, <laughs> I can't thank you enough. You know, we've been watching Prayer, Praise and Power with Pastor Chuck and, and Sister Hibba um, and she's, she's definitely a woman of power, a woman of faith, a woman of courage. Uh, and if you have a if you have a young a young child, male or female, if you've got a young child and you're watching this show tonight, man, run this one over and over again. Listen to her words of encouragement um, uh, to 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 battle and to fight over um, obstacles. Uh, sometimes I think we have a tendency to 
to, to, to go into the woe is me category. Oh, I can't do it because uh, I'm too short, I'm too tall, I'm too this, I'm too that, I'm a girl, I can't, uh, I, 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 I wasn't born with a silver spoon. No, use all those negatives and find the positives. Find the positives. I would not be, I would not be here if I didn't find some positives in life. Because if you just look at the negative stuff, uh, then go ahead and just and dig your grave today. But if, you have, if you're bold enough, if you're big enough, bad enough, and bold enough to look for the positives, I don't care if you're six or 60, man, you'll be successful. And so we just want to thank you, Sister Hibba, Sister Hibba for uh, ex uh, expressing life success lessons, life success lessons in the midst of a war. Because I don't want you to think that you're, you know, life is not, life is not always um, uh, Dunkin' Donuts and sprinkles. Sometimes it's, 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 it gets tough. And if you can just continue to move forward and, and think about some of the lessons that Sister Hibba has shared with us today, uh, you, 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 you'll succeed. You, and if, if, if you don't succeed, you will teach, you, by your efforts, if you do all of that and fail, you'll teach someone else to at least try. And I think that's what life is about, teaching the next person to try, T-R-Y. One of my first coaching jobs, uh, there was a big sign in the window, uh, Brother Ellis, uh, Kijana, if you're watching, but your dad taught me a lesson that was so important, Sister Kijani Ber Burks out of L.A. Uh, her dad put a big sign, uh, Ellis Burt, put a sign in the window, and it had, it had three simple letters, T-R-Y, try, try, try. And, and so I'd always, I would have my kids doing a workout, and in the middle of the workout, I can't do it, I can't do it, and I would just simply point to the sign, try. And those kids kept pushing, kept pushing, kept pushing. And, and that's what life's about, pushing beyond your boundaries. Sister Hibba, um, um, thank you. Thank you for being here today. My pleasure. Um, that reminded me um, uh, something <clears throat> really strange. But uh, when uh, you push hard, you go for it, and it's something you love, mm -hmm. somehow you are being guided. Wow. It could be God, yes. you can call it the universe, yeah. whatever your faith is. Yeah. The power. But the first time I left Lebanon, I traveled outside Lebanon. It mm -hmm. was to Geneva. And I wa used to work for Middle East Airlines. As I told you, my first job as an engineer, uh, visit family there. My nephew was in Geneva, for, uh, was with him for a few days. Mm -hmm. I saw by chance a TV show called Santa Barbara that my little niece was watching. I was surprised. What's this Santa Barbara? Yeah. Never knew yeah. I will wow. be here wow. one day. Thank you. Thank you for being on the show. we have been watching Prayer, Praise, and Power with Pastor Chuck. Uh, Sister Hibble's been on. Uh, we want to thank all of you for watching tonight. If you want to know where I got my shirt from, I got it from the uh, antique, uh, uh, antique Alley on Santa Barbara, 706 uh, of State Street. Go get a nice t-shirt. Thank you for watching the show. See you next week. Prayer, Praise, and Power. Pastor Chuck. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.